Could it be possible a new Mortal Kombat game is coming out? We're gonna celebrate the death of Harold Ramis, and a new three minute international Spider-Man trailer has just been released. What's up everybody and welcome to Totally A Fan, the show where I, a total fan, come to you and I bring you the news of movies, TV, ga uh, TV <laughs> games, uh, comic books, all that jazz, everything revolving the world of Phantom, and I bring that information to you. Now, before I start today, uh, two things I need to address. First, I am wearing glasses. I am a, I have poor vision, so I do need to wear some kind of visual thing here. Um, today just happens to be the day that I'm wearing glasses. Um, so that's neither here nor there. The second thing, hopefully you will enjoy my new stuff down here. Um, I will be looking to incorporate this stuff a little bit more often and soon I want to do some type of a uh, bar here or maybe on this side that just kind of quickly goes over some of the things I'm talking about but hopefully that will be um, mainly down here. Also, if you haven't already guessed, I am doing some cuts in and out as I am trying to do a new format. Hopefully this will make my videos shorter, make them a little bit more concise and you guys will be a lot more interested in the news that I'm bringing into you guys instead of dragging a 20 minute video with all this information. So let's get started. Today, new Mortal Kombat game is supposedly in the works. It was released during, I believe, was San Diego Comic Con, I think of last year, that uh, NetherRealm Studios was looking to make a new game possibly tied in with a new movie. Of course, they talked about it and like I said before, talking about it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen and it's just talking about it. However, Kiefer Sutherland, uh, the main actor from the hit show 24, and uh, from one of my favorite movies growing up, The Lost Boys, um, he's recently been enrolled to star as uh, the voice for uh, Solid Snake in the new Metal Gear um, Solid 5 game. And so he's gonna be the voice for that. Interview with IGN, he stated, I did Mortal Kombat, and that's such a huge game, but it's, n but it's so not like MGS5. So. Does that mean he confirmed that the game is being made? Well, it's possible, seeing as how Kiefer never really provided his voice for anything else uh, revolving the world of Mortal Kombat. So it's definitely possible that he kind of confirmed it. Of course, right now, everything is still being in the works. We're not even sure if that movie's still gonna happen. Um, but hopefully, you know, you guys, fans of Mortal Kombat, have seen the Mortal Kombat Legacy show, which I think is awesome. But Warner Brothers, who owns Nether Realm Studios and who basically kind of owns the the other Mortal Kombat property and stuff like that, um, supposedly, if they do, and I this is speculation, but if they do decide to go with this, um, it's gonna be I, they're probably gonna cancel uh, Legacy, which to be honest, I think they did. I'm not 100 sure, but if you guys know, please go ahead and post that comment downstairs. Next. Again, we honor uh, Harold Remus with a big, great, big ol' nerdy hat tip to you, sir. For those of you who don't know, Harold Remus, who is more famously known as Egon from the Ghostbusters movie, was uh, he died today at the age of 69. He had complications with autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis. Uh, which for those of you who don't know basically it's when like your blood vessels uh, get inflamed and that could be very bad and obviously you know um, death you know death can come of it so again everybody main uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of major movie fans and big nerds know him as Egon from Ghostbusters but he did so much more he wrote Bedazzled, Rover Dangerfield, Caddyshack he also acted in Knocked Up, Airheads uh, stripes and produced Groundhog Day in addition to a bunch of other films he wrote and acted in several of the Ghostbusters um, properties like video games and, and in the movies and stuff like that and he played a big relationship with Bill Murray during each of these movies that they're both in that they both worked on um, so it's not just Ghostbusters he did so much more he was a very awesome comedic director comedian himself um, and definitely it's going to be a shame that, that we see him pass. Now, a lot of uh, questions I've been kind of seeing in my research is what's going to happen with the Ghostbusters movie. Well, supposedly Bill Murray still doesn't know what he's going to do yet. Supposedly, we're not sure if he's going to want to join in on the fun or if, um, or if that's even going to happen. But with the death of, uh, of Harold uh, Ramis, it's probably going to delay it even more if they do decide to move forward with it. But that's going to be something that we're going to... It remains to be seen. Last, the guys at Sony released a three-minute international Spider-Man trailer known, and they're calling it Rise of Electro. What's awesome about this trailer is that it seems to be a very villainous-heavy 
movie it, or a trailer. It we're really seeing a lot more scenes, new scenes with Electro, some new scenes with Harry and his interaction with Peter, and this is kind of adding more to what my theory was about the movie. Or maybe not my theory. Heavily is going to revolve around the balance between Peter Parker and Spider-Man himself. And this um, trailer is going to add to the overwhelming factor that Peter is going to have to face as a hero. It's going to have a lot of intense heavy fighting with with probably Electro being the main focus with Harry Osborn taking up a good, uh, a good third possibly. And, um, and like I said before, uh, the Rhino is probably just going to play a part in the beginning of the movie. We're going to see where Spider-Man is, where Peter, what they're up to now. And um, Rhino is probably going to be the intro to the movie. So I don't expect him to be a heavy character later, you know, near the end of the movie. But he definitely will be playing a bigger part in the Sinister Six and once we get to that point. So that's it for the show today. But I want to know what you guys think about uh, the new Mortal Kombat movie. I want to know what you guys think about Harold Ramis's passing. What was your favorite movie that you saw from him? And what do you guys think about this new Spider-Man trailer? Was it awesome? Are you super excited? Did this make you even more excited for its release on uh, in May 2nd? What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, also, if you guys have any topics, any questions, comments, concerns, anything you guys want to talk about, go ahead and post that information downstairs. And uh, until then, we'll see you.